Ben, what are we doing? I, I'm, I'm having an in-body test and what are we measuring? a skin fold test. Skin fold and ultrasound. Skin fold and ultrasound. Do this. Testing my body fat. Do this. <laughs> I had the pleasure of visiting Dr. Bill Campbell and his team at the University of South Florida. Whilst I was there, he kindly offered to measure my body fat, believing that I could set some kind of record low for what him and his team had measured. I posted a poll on Instagram to see if anyone was interested in watching this video and an overwhelming majority of people voted yes. So here is an impromptu video documenting the process. I have a box on that. Take all you want. So this is how we roll America. <laughs> <laughs> we strip all the foreigners down. Yeah, it's like weird in, weird induction, isn't it? <laughs> we have an incoming freshman there who sat by as well soon, so they can. Uh, I'll take. Them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. And then we're just gonna step up here. <laughs> so my weight and body fat were recorded using an in-body machine. Now there is some data comparing these to other bioelectrical impedance analysis devices, and it showed that the in-body had a high agreement compared to DEXA and hydrostatic weighing. Starting. You know this routine, right? Alright, um, I apologize. My, my hands are cold. Uh, John is going to be our scribe here in a second. This is what I do is I go through with skin folds. Then I'm going to use ultrasound, same seven, same seven locations. The reason I do both is we publish the data with ultrasound. I keep this in reserve. One, if the software is not picking up where I think it should, I override it based on my ultra, uh, skin fold value. Yeah. And plus, I like to share this with people who don't have all access to ultrasound and skin folds everybody has access to. Now of course, all body fat measurements will have a margin of error. The only way to know exactly how much body fat you have is via cadaver analysis. And I thought dying for the sake of a body fat reading was probably suboptimal. So let's roll with this instead. Reset them. Who's any of you doing it? Madeline has done all of my notes for three. Madeline does two. Four? What's the next site? It's scapula. Okay, face that wall right behind you. Chicken wing. This used to be my highest when I'll have them done regularly. Oh, really? You seen your fat scapulas? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's out of control. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to go wide enough. <laughs> Nine. Exilia. All right. Um, take that hand, put it over like that. Four point five. Triceps. Triceps. Face that wall again. Four. And John. Face me. Six, six, one more, one more. Six. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna feel the top of your hip bone. This might tickle or hurt. If it makes you feel better, but having such an audience, he did this to me in front of the whole class. So how many people? How many 30? 30, 30 people in the class? <laughs> I was that person as well. You were so yeah. we both got that up for Did you get shorts? I did bring shorts. Andrew <laughs> <laughs> brought shorts. She's not ready. A lot of shorts would have helped. I tried to get mine over, but he's always put my pants back. <laughs> Four. And five. Seems like you're right about your scapula being the fattest part. It always was. Put a patch over at the beach. <laughs> you got 14 abs, you got a complex about the scapula. <laughs> Do you mind? Do you mind? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Eight. All right. Right hand over. Over. Yeah. 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 Now they explained to me that in very lean individuals, it can be difficult to distinguish the structures being picked up by the ultrasound, which is why some of these are measured multiple times and occasionally overridden with skin fold data. Tell me when it's done. 
Your scalp was so fat that it kind of... <laughs> he threw everything else off. Yeah, it's having to recuperate from that. I definitely don't feel self-conscious. <laughs> <laughs> you love his attention, right? <laughs> love it. It's funny, we, we do these so often, we forget that people can Aren't be uncomfortable it. sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> We're just like poking them and protecting their skin. But to be fair, there's usually not somebody with a camera in this thing. Yeah, that's true. We'll do 5.8 of the point. I mean, everybody wants to go over. I was like, let me go under. One dollar bottle. That's what I was going to say. So, the test predicted me at 5.3% body fat, which is admittedly significantly lower than I would have guessed. And whilst of course there is margin of error within this, I am essentially just presenting data. Now, lots of people idolise low body fat percentage levels, like some kind of dick measuring contest. So, to sign off, I think it's important to note that irrespective of what the body fat measurement estimated me at, my body fat levels are unnecessarily low and not something that you should strive for especially if you don't have some kind of physique contest related goal.